Since 2014, our country has been plagued by divisive forces. The MC is in Meghalaya with the mission to empower the people, uphold the ethnic cultures and traditions, celebrate the sacred land. To oust the proxy BJP government from Meghalaya, be the change, support TMC by calling on 96877-96877. The Indian Chamber of Commerce on 26th of August held the North East Water Conclave at the State Convention Centre Silong. PHE Minister Renikton Lindo Thongkar attended the inaugural function as chief guest. Speaking on the occasion, Thongkar stated that water is life and without water, survival is impossible. He urged the gathering to save water at every opportunity and to develop a habit of being a water cultivator and to understand the value of water. Key focus areas of the conclave is upgradation of water and wastewater infrastructure, leakage in water, conveyance, lines and storage. The conclave also highlights on different aspects of water business in Northeast India. As a part of conclave, Witness presence of key policymakers, investors, eminent industry players, researchers, B2B interactions with diverse stakeholders, and exploring new business opportunity ideas and networking. National vision statements, investor preferences, and even daily prayers of the common man. It's therefore inevitable that it is an important agenda for ICC as well. I'm sure that the importance of water and wastewater management would not be lost on any of you. Water is the source of life, pillar of civilization, and also important for almost all industrial segments. It's vital for sustained inclusive growth and well-being of the people. The new challenges, demands, and exciting opportunities by contemporary new 21st century would make it even more important to sensitively manage this critical resource and fortify water security. What better place to go to address the irony we face in India about the water scarcity than to go to a place which has the highest rainfall in the world and still faces the issues related to water, wastewater and the conservation of that. That this northeastern part of India is uh, unique in itself as it contains areas with highest rainfall in the world and yet also faces acute shortage of water, potable and usable water throughout the year. The water just runs through the area, flows down in absence of proper mechanisms and to address this flow there are no major facilities. That it is an irony that Meghalaya being a state blessed with plenty of water, is facing shortages of drinking water and even for other purposes like industry and agriculture. So it is a time for all of us to think about water in a holistic manner by having an integrated approach. What I mean is that when we discuss about water. We tend to neglect the aspects which are before the transportation of water from the source to household level or at any institutional level. We tend to neglect the source of water, the strengthening or rejuvenation of these sources and primarily and most importantly the participation of the communities. We will confuse ourselves. We will confuse ourselves whether we are water cultivator, whether we have involved ourselves to cultivate water, to save water. We all are using water sometimes excessively, more than required, but very few people who have really initiated, who have really started to cultivate water, to contain water, and to understand the preciousness of water. My dear friends, 
whenever I get an opportunity to meet with the people looking for the water resource or drinking water, I always raise this issue about the water sources. The question of the sustainability of the water sources and what will we do? What shall we do for the catchment areas, which is very, very important.